Happy Monday, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Daria. I love food and I also love feeling good. And that's what this channel is all about. So if you like those things too, hit subscribe and tick the notification bell below so that you don't miss new videos every Monday. Today is September 21st, and the first official day of fall is September 22nd. Now normally, I'm not a big fall person because to me, fall just means winter's coming. I'm a summer girl. I love that 80 degree and warmer weather. It's a really good thing I live in Chicago, notoriously temperate city. But this year I'm actually a little bit excited about fall because I love fall foods. Fall foods are cozy and comforting and hearty and warm. And I feel like in this wild year that we're having, that's something everyone could use a little bit of, some comfort. A change of season is also a great time to mix it up in the kitchen, to get creative with new flavors and things that are in season. And especially right now when a lot of us are stuck at home all the time, I know I'm a little sick of kind of my go-to meals and things that I've been eating a lot of. So inspire yourself with new flavors that are in season. That's a great way to mix it up, keep it fresh. And fall foods also have some really awesome health benefits. So today I wanna to talk about some of my favorite fall foods, their health benefits, and I'm gonna show you some of my favorite things to do with them. Happy fall. Okay guys, the first tip and best tip that I have for meal prepping is to do everything according to timing. So do the thing that's gonna take the longest first, and then while you're waiting for that thing to happen, do other things, multitask. So we're gonna start today by baking this pumpkin. Now, if you wanna skip this step, you can just buy canned pumpkin, like pureed pumpkin. The store was out of it this week, probably because everyone's really excited for fall. Another benefit of just using a full pumpkin is that you get the seeds inside too, and those are really good for you. Pumpkins are high in beta carotene, which is an antioxidant that we ingest and convert to vitamin A. Pumpkins are also high in vitamin C, vitamin E, and fiber. They're low in calories and really good for you, very nutrient dense. My oven is preheating right now at 350. I'm gonna slice this, I'm gonna scoop out the seeds, and I'm gonna throw it in the oven for 45, 50-ish minutes. the finished result after scooping out all of the seeds. And now I'm gonna just put these into this pan right here, face down, and I'm gonna brush it with a little bit of coconut oil and sprinkle some salt on top before I put it into the oven. And this is my little bowl of pumpkin seeds also, just so you know, there's so many seeds from that tiny pumpkin. I don't measure things very often and I don't use recipes very often either because I just like to play. I think it's a lot more fun to just like throw things in wherever you want. This should be about right. And I'm just like coating the whole thing in this olive oil and salt. Oh, and I said I was using coconut oil and then I just went ahead and put olive oil on here. Whatever, either way. Ideally I would have like an actual brush to be putting that oil on, but we're on a budget. So tossing this in, like I said, I don't know. I honestly don't know how long it's gonna take. So I'm just gonna keep periodically checking on it. I'm also the very messiest cook there's pumpkin seeds all over the floor. I'm constantly cleaning and it's still just a mess. Okay, I'm setting a timer so that I don't forget to check on this pumpkin because I will. Error. Huh, all right. I'm not sure how to work the timer on this microwave, so I might just set a different timer. Huh? Do you guys like my outfit, by the way? This is, um. John and I used to work at a restaurant together and this was our uniform, this apron. I never returned mine after I stopped working there, but the restaurant closed, so it's probably fine. Yeah, my shirt has a hole in the armpit. I just wanna let you know that in case I accidentally get really excited and lift my arms up. So just so you know that, that I know. Half of these.
these pumpkin seeds sweet and half of them savory because I want to include them in another one of these recipes that I'm making today. But then I also just think it'll be fun to have some to like snack on that are more of like a savory snack during the week. Pumpkin seeds are great because they're really a good source of healthy fat and oils. They're high in magnesium and they're high in iron, which for me is really good because I don't get a lot, like a lot of the days I'm not getting as much iron as I probably should because I don't eat red meat. So yeah, this is a great source for that also. Pumpkin seeds are now in the oven too. So we've got like 12 to 15 minutes and I'm gonna take this time to start prepping some granola that I'm gonna be making. So this is a maple cinnamon granola. If you watched my last video, my full day of eating. You know that at nighttime I like to have a snack that's like Greek yogurt with some stuff in it. So sometimes I'll do PB2, peanut butter powder. But lately I've really been craving something crunchy like a granola. And I find that a lot of the store-bought granolas, even the like healthier ones, don't have ingredients that I love all the time. Or they're super high in sugar, or they're too sweet. So I'm gonna make my own today. And this way I can incorporate all the foods that I want and have it fit my macros exactly the way that I want it to. I'm gonna be using my scale to measure all of this just so that I know what the macros are for the full serving size and then I can divide it up later depending on how much I'm having. Like I said, I'm not following a recipe at all. I'm not a recipe girl. So this is just what sounds good to me and yeah, sort of like more creative this way. I feel like recipes can be limiting because you feel like you've got to like follow it exactly or put exactly what it says. And also I feel like it's more expensive because whenever I follow a recipe, I end up going out and buying a million ingredients that I don't normally use in all my foods. And I know there's like, there's ways around it. If you're a recipe person, that's great. I am not a recipe person. We're gonna toss in some cinnamon, a ton of cinnamon. I love cinnamon. If the store hadn't been out of nutmeg, I would have put nutmeg in here also. It's such a great like warming flavor of fall. But what are you gonna do? Maple syrup, I promised maple. Here's the maple. We'll do some chia seeds. Chia seeds are great for a healthy source of fat because they're really easy to toss into literally anything. I put them in smoothies a lot or it's something like granola or with yogurt. Yeah, they're just really good. So as I'm mixing this up, I can see that it's a little bit dry. So I am gonna need to add some more coconut oil to this. Yeah, that's fire. So this is prepped. Once the pumpkin seeds are out of the oven, I'm gonna put those in here too. And then I'm gonna toss it in the food processor and grind it up a little bit more so it's a little bit more just like chunky. And then we'll throw it in the oven. See how quick and easy this is? watched last week you'll know about this protein powder that I hated but I actually found a use for it which is that if you incorporate it with like a granola or an oatmeal and enough maple syrup it's not the worst it's not the best I still don't recommend it but I am gonna put a scoop of this in with the granola just to give it a little bit more protein I'm just trying not to waste it that we want. It's almost like a dough. And now I'm gonna fold in the pumpkin seeds and then I'm gonna toss this in a pan and put it in the oven. And that's it. This could be like breakfast bars too if you don't want granola. It can be whatever. Great protein, great fat, great carbs. Great all around. just came out 
of the oven. I'm very happy with it. It's sort of like gooey and crunchy at the same time. It's really good. I did um, drizzle a little bit of extra maple syrup on the top of the granola when it came out of the oven, just to kind of add a tiny bit of sweetness. It was about a, a teaspoon of extra maple syrup. But yeah, I'm super happy with this. I've never made this exact granola before. And yeah, it's really good. We're gonna make some pumpkin puree, like you would buy in a can. So, I'm gonna use my food processor again, but before I do, I'm gonna eat the rest of this granola. Just a little snack. It's so good. It's so good before I even cook it, but I'm a big fan of cookie dough. Dough, I'm a big fan of dough. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I guess you can eat it raw. There's nothing wrong with that. This is a very important step in the process, so make sure you don't forget. looks like baby food, right? Yeah, it does. <laughs> but next up, we're gonna make some pumpkin spice smoothies. The moment you've all been waiting for. fresh ginger also just to give it a little bit of a kick a little bit of a spice ginger is also really good anti-inflammatory food yeah and then we're gonna do some water a scoop of a vanilla protein powder that we have this week thank god and mix it up i think that's it if i add anything else i'll let you know what is this potion a pumpkin and a little cinnamon. I'm getting wheat. Wheat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting essence of wheat. I'm getting. What do you think? Do you like it? I do. I really do. All right. I really do. is getting a little bit long but I have one more recipe for you and just stick around for it because it's a good one apparently I like to coordinate the, sh the color of my shirt with what I'm eating <laughs> spaghetti squash we're making spaghetti squash with a tomato garlic sauce and chicken meatballs and spaghetti squash is a great alternative for regular noodles it's more nutrient dense and high in fiber lower in carbs so if you're like you know I already got my carbs for the day but you're like I really want pasta this is a great option summer food, but we're sort of in that like transitional period right now. So I thought I'd combine a little bit of fall with a little, like the end of summer with these tomatoes. Um, so now we're just kind of waiting. We're going to saute some mushrooms and some garlic as well. And then this tomato sauce should be like pretty good to go. Yeah. Quick and easy. While I'm waiting for everything to cook, I'm just having a little snack. I'm having a pear, another fall food. Pears are really high in antioxidants. They're good for your gut health because they're high in fiber. So they promote healthy digestion, which we love, and they taste amazing. I like to have snacks while I'm cooking so I don't get too hungry, especially if I'm meal prepping because I'll just end up eating all the food if I'm too hungry. So it's good to, you know, have a little cooking snack here and there. regular spaghetti. Mm -hmm. 
that's all for today's video guys thank you so much for watching if you had a good time give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment below and let me know what you want to see coming up soon and don't forget to hit subscribe because it really supports the growth of my channel and it's free i'll see you next week oh.